I'm here with Mark Nelson of Rio Grande, and he's going to help us to take our project to the next level by adding color to metal. Yes, we're going to use a, a very simple process using mm -hmm. a colored epoxy enamel. Mm -hmm. And um, what you can do is add a whole range of different colors, mm -hmm. um, and you can also mix colors right. to even get a bro broader range of um, a palette there. Okay. What you want to do is you want to decide on, first of all, what color you want, mm -hmm. and also what kind of hardener you want. Okay. And your hardener is going to be dictated to you by the piece. If okay. you're going to do a big area, you want to use a thick hardener because it's thicker and it'll, it'll cover better. Okay. So um, what you want to do is you have to mix it two parts resin, colored resin, to one part hardener. And okay. it has to be a minimum of 15 cc's. Okay. If it's not, it's not going to have enough in there to um, cure. So. And that's the, the thick one. This is the thick hardener. I already have my colored base in there, mm -hmm. and I'm adding um, 5 cc's to the 10 cc's of color that I already have in there. And you can see that it's always, that your cup is kind of measured there. Yes, there's all kinds of different measurements on here, and it's, um, mm -hmm. to give it a second here, there yeah. we go. And, of course, there's kits you can get that gets all, you have all of these together. Right, the kits yeah. have these cups, and the cups are really important. Mm -hmm. um, you'll make sure that you have the right amount. Right. Now what you want to do is use a craft stick mm -hmm. to stir it um, and stir it slowly so that you don't introduce a lot of air into there. Oh that's a good tip. And just take your time. Um, you have about one hour of working time really? with, with this stuff so you, you have plenty of time to mix it nice and slow and um, work it really well. And of course the bubbles not a good thing. You want it to be nice and smooth. Exactly. And once you have it mixed mm -hmm. you can then um, add it to like a bezel cup mm -hmm. or um, some kind of shape that'll contain it. Right. I'll set that aside. And like I've done here with this ivory. Okay. Okay. So after you mix it then you can just pour it in and this is actually kind of what it started right, as. Right, that's what mm -hmm. it'll start at. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And here again I put some in this bottle. It makes the application very easy. And you can do anything you want here. It's in the bottle. It's already pre-mixed. It's pre-mixed. And you just add a drop. You could just have a lot of fun with this, couldn't you? Oh, you really can. You really can. <laughs> and like I said, you have about an hour working time. It takes about 72 hours. It is a long drying time wow. at room temperature. Like, is he making a face? <laughs> <laughs> you can be very um, creative with this. You can do a lot of baking techniques Right. where you, where you take it and swirl. Now you said about um, 72 hours of drying time. Is there any way to speed that up? Or There is. You can take a toaster oven mm -hmm. and it'll cut it down to about two hours. That's significant. Yes, it's very significant. That's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Yeah. And yeah. you don't want to get any dust on it or anything like that? Exactly. What you want to do is you want to take uh, one of the other cups that you're not using mm -hmm. and set it to protect it from dust. Oh, that's, that's pretty smart. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea to do that. Now let's say you have um, some um, silver clay pieces that you mm -hmm. use a stamp to um, stamp the metal with. Right. And this can be silver or it can be bronze. Which Those gives you the good indentations. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then for that you want to use kind of a, a thin hardener. Mm -hmm. And what you can do is I like to use toothpicks for paint brushes because you can squish the ends. Ah. And uh, they're disposable. Yes. So you don't have to clean anything. And all you do there <laughs> is you... Um, and that's already mixed? Yeah, this is pre-mixed with thin. Okay. And then you can just fill in these little indentations, and you're instantly adding color. Beautiful. Yeah, with no heat. Um, now, what if as you're painting, like as you're doing right now, you're like, oh, I didn't want to do that corner. I want mm -hmm. to do another corner. Can you fix it at all? Or? You can. Uh, if it's not cured, you can soak the piece in, in vinegar. Oh, really? Yeah, and the vinegar will take out the uncured epoxy. Oh, okay. Now, let's say it's all done and, and, and it hardened up. Mm -hmm. You can... Um, bake it in your oven at about 450 degrees mm -hmm. and it'll burn out the epoxy. Oh, so those are good two tips. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure we get it right the first time. <laughs> oh, exactly, exactly. And um, you can see... That's what's nice about all those indentations. All right, and you can do it on the bronze too, which is this nice yellow, deep yellow. Mm-hmm. So silver, bronze, beautiful. Okay, it's like kind of a Kind of Christmas color there. <laughs> well, you brought with you 
some other pieces. I did. Um, right, you see the butterfly? Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of a cloisonné type technique where you're filling cells with a transparent color so you can see through it. Mm -hmm. Kind of a stained glass technique. And then of course uh, the other pieces. I, I love those I just love the design of these. It's very, it's a very free it's medium. Like a little mini surfboard. Right, you can draw <laughs> with color. And uh, you know, they're using their uh, transparent gem tones, which are very bright. Mm -hmm. And you're outlining with the black, it's very easy. Now, is the black one of the color choices oh, yeah. as well? Yeah, oh, clear good. too. You can and just clear. be clear. Oh, good. Uh, the frame next to it was there again, kind of done like the butterfly. But mm -hmm. they're again showing you the scale of what you could do. Well, so. real quickly before we go, I just want to ask you, we have a choice of color, yeah. which is wonderful. Come, you can mix the colors as well. And then the other thing is once you've done your project or you pick your piece you want to add color to, you have to decide if you want the thinner mm -hmm. or the thicker uh, uh, hardeners. additive, hardeners. Yes. So once you've decided that, and then like you said, you have to just kind of be timely with the everything. The most important thing, mix the minimum amount at least. Mix the minimum amount. Okay, yes. great. Perfect. Great. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. We're going to be right back with Katie Hacker.